Hello and welcome back to our tutorials on servicing the escape machines. Today we will explain you how to adjust thread take up and pressure foot on W head. Properly adjusted thread take up and pressure foot is a key for a smooth operation of the machine. So let's begin. For this operation you will need the following tools. A cross tip Phillips screwdriver, 2.5 mm, 3 mm and 4 mm Allen keys and a head pin. To adjust the thread take up we will need to turn on the machine, remove the right side cover of the W head by unfastening the screws on top and the bottom of the cover using a 2.5 mm Allen key. Ensure that the W head is turned on and the red light on the W head button is continuously lit without blinking. Go to T8 and on the main screen press L3 for service, then R3 for test machine attachments and finally L7 for main shaft position. Release the main shaft brake by pressing the jogging button on T8. Next, rotate the main shaft counterclockwise until it reaches 282 degrees for head time. You can do this by grabbing the reachable end of the main shaft on the right side of the W head. Take a head pin and insert it through the hole behind the reachable end of the main shaft. The pin should go through the head and lock the curved disc inside the head, which will prevent the head from rotating. To confirm that the pin has locked the head at the correct position, try to manually turn the main shaft. If it remains stationary at 280 degrees, then the head timing is correct. If you can rotate the shaft and or the angle shown on the T8 is not 280 degrees, then head timing adjustment is required. To do the head timing, please remove the pin and rotate the main shaft until it reaches 280 degrees. Go to T8 and press the jogging button to engage the brakes and lock the main shaft. With the help of cross tube Phillips screwdriver, remove the front cover from the W head. Using a 4mm Allen key, slightly loosen the screw on the clamp ring and disengage the W head lever and curved disc from the main shaft. Now you should be able to rotate the curved disc to its designated position by rotating the clamp ring. If you can't rotate the lever by applying force on the clamp ring, then loosen the screw on the clamp ring a bit more. If the clamp ring disengages completely from the head's lever, then tighten the screw on the clamp ring a little bit. To bring the curved disc to its original position, you will need to look inside the W head at the bottom right side to the golden sleeve. Rotate the clamp ring together with the lever until you visually see the flat part of the curved disc with the screw. Then. Draw the pin through the hole on the right side of the W head to lock the curved disc. You might need to do some small angle rotations clockwise and counterclockwise until you can get the head pin completely through the hole on the curved disc and locked it. Ensure that the groove on the curved disc matches with the groove on the lever and tighten the screw on the clamp ring with a 4 mm Allen key. Remove the head pin Disengage the brakes on the main shaft, manually rotate it counterclockwise at least one full turn, ensuring smooth operation with no blockage. Then position it at 64 degrees and re-engage the brakes by pressing the jogging button on the T8 control. Reattach the front cover to the W head with a cross tip Phillips screwdriver. After the head timing was checked, we can continue to adjust thread take up. Please go to T8 and on the main screen press L3 for service, then R3 for test machine attachments. Next, use the arrow buttons to select thread take up and press L8 to start testing. Now by pressing the start button we will activate test mode for the thread take up. The machine will run in cycles and every 4 revolutions of the main shaft it will turn the thread take up on and then off. If your machine is running differently, you may need to adjust the thread take up magnet. Go to the right side of the W head and locate the two screws that attach the thread take up magnet to the W head. Loosen them with a 3 mm Allen key. 
run the thread take up test while the machine is running start to move the thread take up magnet downwards if the thread take up was blocked or upwards if the thread take up was too loose until you reach the point where the thread take up cycle corresponds to normal operation during each four revolutions of the main shaft the thread take up should move and then shake slightly during the off cycle you may need to tighten one of the screws slightly for more precise adjustment of the thread take up magnet position after the lever and magnet position have been adjusted tighten both screws stop the thread take up test mode by pressing r8 for stop testing and exit to the main test machine attachment menu on the T8. After thread take up was adjusted, we can move to the next step and adjust the presser foot. If your machine doesn't require this operation, you can reattach the left side cover back onto the W head and run your machine normally. To adjust the presser foot height, follow these steps. Ensure that the W head is turned on and the red light on the W head button is continuously lit without blinking the presser foot is up. Go to the T8 control and turn on the thread take up test mode. While the machine is running, visually observe the presser foot on the W head. In its adjusted state, the presser foot shouldn't move. If it moves, then we need to align the pressure foot lever. While the machine is running, use a 2.5 mm Allen key to loosen the screw on the presser foot clamp ring at the left side of the W head. Rotate the lever smoothly until the pressure foot stops moving. Then ensure that the groove on the clamp ring and pressure foot lever are aligned and tighten the screw on the clamp ring. Go to T8 and press the R8 button to stop testing. Reattach the left side cover of the W head. Now we will explain you how to adjust the pressure foot height. Ensure that the W head is turned on, the red light on the W head button is continuously lit without blinking, and the pressure foot is up with the zigzag head at its original position. Go to T8 and on the main screen menu press L3 for service, then R3 for test machine attachments, then with arrow buttons choose W head Z axis and presser foot local or W head and zigzag and presser foot local and press L8 to start testing. Press the right side button on the W head to unlock Z axis and move the zigzag head to the side for more convenient operation with the presser foot. Press the left side button on the W head to move the pressure foot down. Loosen the screw that holds the pressure foot with the 2.5 mm Allen key. Move the foot down until it touches the needle plate. Align its center with the needle and tighten the screw. Press the left side button on the W head several times and check the bottom position of the presser foot. It must slightly touch the needle plate. Repeat adjustment if needed. Bring the presser foot up by pressing the left side button on the W head. Press R8 stop testing on the T8 control. And now you can operate your machine normally. There it is, the full process of how to adjust thread take up and pressure foot on your ZSK machine. For further assistance, you may contact your local agency. And below this video, you will find links to purchase tools and parts what have been used in this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.